Scuba diving in this park is so spectacular and one of the first times that I dived here we were diving on one of the island walls. The colours of the park are just absolutely brilliant. The reefs are just full of life. I'm Tash and I'm a Ranger Team Leader for Parks Victoria here at Twelve Apostles Marine National Park. One of the interesting characteristics of Twelve Apostles Marine National Park is that the waters are so turbulent and they can be really rough and it can make accessing the water above and below quite difficult. That's where things like mapping our marine environment make it really important to be able to get that information so we can manage the park effectively. Parks Victoria worked with a number of stakeholders to map the park, including Deakin University. My name is Daniel. I'm an Associate Professor of Marine Science at Deakin University's Warrnambool campus on the Great Ocean Road. So the conditions in this park make it incredibly difficult to get in there and actually see what's happening underwater. So we use a range of technologies to map the park. Uh, you can see Yola in the background. Yola is Victoria's seabed mapping vessel owned by Deakin University and, and we've had the privilege of mapping a lot of Victoria's marine national parks. When you look off at 12 Apostles Marine Park, you see these beautiful limestone stacks and this blue. And most people think it's just a flat sea floor. But what we're finding is under the water, it's equally as complex and beautiful. We're finding ancient coastlines. We're seeing these amazing kelp forests that support a range of biodiversity from fishes to invertebrate communities. In the deeper water, we have these amazing sponge gardens. And these sponge gardens, uh, you know, they're incredibly complex and colourful and beautiful. So over 90% of the plants and animals that we find in the cool temperate waters of Australia are found nowhere else on Earth. So it's really important to protect some of these sentinel sites. We're out there using advanced technology from sonar systems to remote camera systems to be able to document the biodiversity and the structural complexity of these park areas so we can generate maps and information on biodiversity that can help our managers manage these areas appropriately. So what we're doing at Parks Victoria is really important to conserve these special areas. We want future generations to be able to know and understand what lives in our marine environment and how they can help look after it.